Inger Andersen. I'm the Director General for IUCN, the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Well, when we talk about nature, and especially after the Paris Agreement, we have to think about Paris also spoke a lot about, about reservoirs and sinks. So let's stop and talk for a moment and think. Sinks and reservoirs, what is that? That's actually nature. It's those forests, it's those mangroves, it's the oceans, it's the terrestrial biodiversity, it's the soil. But how can we make sure that when we talk about climate change, we're also really understanding, yes, energy and renewables is key, but the soils, the plants, the oceans matter greatly. And that's what we're working on. We work on the conservation of nature, of ensuring nature's viability. And the story here is really important. In a way, if we don't do that, then um, there's really no future for man on this good planet. So having investments in nature and in nature's infrastructure is critical. And that's now that we're talking about moving into action, that's very much what we are talking about here at the COP and we've seen some great examples of that uh, while here in Marrakesh. So the big important areas that we have invested in and moved with our members and I should mention to you that we're a global organization. We are unique in that we have both government and non-governmental members. We have 1,300 members together. Um, and we work on nature-based solutions. Um, and a big, big effort, for example, that we've been doing in the last few years have been working on forest landscape restoration. We are a very old organization. We were established in 1948. And we have a long, long engagement with science, with data, with evidence. And since 1948, we have been part of, of the science of ensuring that we understand the dynamics of nature and of ecosystem-based services. Here, when we're talking climate, for too long a time, we didn't talk about ecosystem-based adaptation. That is something we've now understood, and it is enshrined in the Paris Agreement. We understand with Paris that we need to invest in nature. So what does that look like? Well, healthy oceans will absorb massive amount of carbon, about a quarter of the carbon that we release on an annual basis. So we have to make sure that we have healthy oceans, those sea grasses, those mangroves, those coastal areas, those uh, salt plains matter. And, and, and here's the important part. It matters not just for carbon, Forests matter not just for carbon. Forest matters because there are multiple benefits. Let's think about this. If you make sure that you invest in forest landscape restoration, what happens? On the one hand, we store carbon. That's fine. But if we do it well, we will also make sure that there are better jobs and potentials for income for poor people who, do, who rely on forests. If you do it really well, you will also make sure that there's a real potential for increased biodiversity. And if you do it well, you will ensure better gender uh, rights. So when we invest in nature, we get these synergies between the many conventions, between biodiversity, climate, desertification, etc., and, uh, and many of the water-based uh, conventions. So it's very, very important that we think about ecosystem-based adaptation. For IUCN, working in uh, forest landscape restoration under something we call the bond challenge which was later um, augmented by the new york declaration we have this goal that we will by 2030 have uh, 350 million hectares restored these are landscapes that today are uh, degraded get them back into working landscapes that's really important and when we do that, you take that degraded land back into working landscape, what happens? You take off the pressure of the pristine forest, you take off the pressure of the pristine lands, and you're helping to create jobs, to store carbon, to enhance biodiversity, and to enhance ecosystem-based services. So that's what we work in with our many, many members. And I should maybe mention that we just recently had our Congress uh, in Hawaii, we had more than 10,000 people. And we in the IUCN, we are this big platform, this big tent. 
And we were really pleased to see every single UN head come. We had obviously Patricia Espinosa, we had Eric Solhan from UNEP, we had John Scanlon from CITES, we had Irina Bukova from UNESCO. Um, so we had all uh, uh, Naoko Ishii from the GEF. Everyone comes to IUCN. Why? Because we are that big tent. And that's a tent that we are bringing here to uh, Marrakesh together with our many members. Well, the big message is obviously to move to action. And um, we feel that there is a degree of optimism in the air in spite of certain political developments. And we can see that what is possible. From our side, we can see what nature can bring to the table. If you invest in nature's infrastructure, as I mentioned before, that becomes part and parcel of the solution. If, for example, we bring back and we hit the aim of the, of the restoration challenge, as well as stop deforestation, just by doing that, you have on an annual basis the same, you absorb the amount of carbon of all the world's cars today that are on the road. That's massive. So think about the solutions that nature brings. Think about soils, what they store in terms of carbon. But healthy carbon rich soils are also higher productive soils. Higher productive soils are also giving, can give great, greater plant wealth and plant diversity can lead to greater biodiversity. So that's the story. The story here is about ecosystem-based adaptation. The story for us is about investing in nature and using nature and nature's bounty to help us restore our planet. And it's all about action. And we don't have time. We have to deliver on the promise. That's what we are here to do.